Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for this uh, new episode of uh, KOS, uh, the basics number 29. Um, I am in the VAB with that uh, ugly rocket. Uh, I have to say I really missed the DLCs part. I'm playing right now with the stock game. Any DLCs are installed, and uh, so I have only access to the uh, 1.25 meters parts and the uh, 2.5 meters parts. I don't have the intermediate parts, and I really miss them. Um, with that rocket, I'm going to show you how to do a gravity turn with a PID loop. So, uh, if you didn't already, I uh, suggest you to watch my episode about the PID loop to understand what is it. And um, I'll show you uh, with that gravity turn, you go directly from the launch pad to a circular orbit. Uh, you using uh, without cutting off your your uh, engine, but you uh, play a lot with throttle. This is not the best way to do a gravity turn. At least I don't. <laughs> For me, it's not the best way. Uh, maybe I don't do that very well, but. I um, prefer to use the prograde vector and only that and then to circularize my orbit with a second engine instead of uh, using the PID loop. But just to show you uh, how it works, uh, let's, let's do that. So um, let's go. I won't show you, uh, I won't write the script uh, directly in that video. The script is already written. Uh, I. I will show you the script as uh, our rocket is uh, going up. Okay, I I thought it was uh, better than uh, than writing all the script. So we are on the launch pad, and uh, as always, we are uh, ignition and lift off. We stage twice for that. Then we are waiting until the magnitude is greater than forty, and I start gravity turn. So. This is how uh, now the PID loop is coming right now. So I'm aiming for uh, a 90 seconds a target of um, ETA. I want my apoapsis to be at 90 seconds from me. For that, I use the PID loop. So uh, this is here. PID loop starts here. So this is my configuration for my throttle. And the set point is 90 because I want uh, um, my ETA to be 90 seconds. Okay, and uh, then I lock my throttle to the wanted throttle, and the wanted throttle is uh, updated with that throttle uh, PID. Okay, so. Um, For now, because my uh, ETA is uh, less than 90 seconds, my throttle is at maximum, it's 1. Okay, The maximum is here and the minimum is here. I put 0 0.01 because I don't want my engine to be cut off. Okay, um, Then I wait until my uh, rocket is above 36 kilometers and uh, for, from that point I... Uh, Continue to have uh, quite, I, this is uh, this until my sh my ship is uh, 36 kilometers. So I'm going to uh, quit that loop. Okay, so because when the ship is over 36 kilometers, the loop is over, and then we are following the prograde, the orbit prograde, and I want to set up my uh, my ETA at 80 seconds. And you know, you see that now. Uh, my throttle is at 0 0.41 because uh, the ATA of my uh, apoapsis is 80 seconds. So now the PID loop uh, just uh, lock the throttle at the uh, good number to keep my apoapsis at 80 seconds. Okay, and the stage is automatic, right? Okay, and uh, now. Because I want my uh, apoapsis to be uh, high enough, I uh, wait until my apoapsis is greater than my target apoapsis, and my target apoapsis is away. Is it's 
80 kilometers. Okay, this is the parameter of my gravity term. So 80 kilometers. So okay, and uh, during that loop, I uh, print some values here. So I print the value of the apoapsis. The ATR apoapsis is 80 seconds, and the throttle. Right, so uh, I'm waiting until my uh, apoapsis is greater than 80 kilometers. And when uh, it's done, then I want my apoapsis to be at 20 seconds. Okay, so uh, up, let's see what uh, is here. Okay, we uh, reached space, so uh, all is deployed automatically. 40 seconds, yeah, because this is for my, uh, when I reach space, let's see here, I have a when, then, when my ship altitude is greater than uh, the atmosphere height uh, plus 500, I deploy the panels, I extend the antennas, I deploy the flaring, and I set my uh, ETA to 40 seconds. Okay, so this is why you see uh, my throttle is at 0 0.01. If I put a zero, uh, it will be uh, shut automatically to zero, but I did not want that. Look at my periapsis is uh, increasing too. Right, my uh, peri apoapsis is quite uh, uh, is about to be uh, equal to uh, 80 kilometers, and I at 80 kilometers I want the ETA to be equal to uh, to be equal to 20 seconds. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> uh, automatic staging. Okay. Eighty. Okay, so now twenty seconds. So, so the uh, throttle is at zero point zero one. This is why uh, the apoapsis is still increasing. Okay, because I'm at space, I could have uh, cut off completely the engine, but I decided not to. Okay, and uh, then. Okay, so uh, my throttle is uh, going up to keep my apoapsis to uh, 20. So I'm right here for now. And now I want my... Uh, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Because this, uh, this was too quick. <laughs> All right. So um, my uh, set point was at 20 seconds. Okay. And this is... Uh, my side point until my periapsis was greater than zero and because my periapsis here is now seven kilometers uh, for, from that point I don't want to look at the uh, it is not my throttle that will uh, decide uh, the um, the ETA of my apoapsis but it will be the pitch so if my ETA is uh, too high, so if I'm too far away from uh, my uh, apoapsis, I want to pitch down. You see here, my rocket is uh, pitching down. And then uh, this will uh, lower the ETA apoapsis, right? And when my apoapsis is less than 10 seconds, then my rocket will pitch up again because I want my apoapsis to be at 10 seconds. During that time, the periapsis will continue to increase. Okay, so I'm looking at the eccentricity of my orbit, and I want an orbital orbit. So for that, I want my uh, eccentricity to be um, close to zero. So from that point, I have a new uh, PID loop. Okay, so uh, this is until my periapsis is greater than zero. And because now my periapsis is greater than zero, I'm not on that loop anymore. I am here. So now I have a new loop, a pitch PID. So the pitch uh, is going from minus uh, five to five. 
Okay, and uh, the set point is 10 because I want to be 10 seconds to uh, apoapsis. And my throttle is locked to 0 0.3. This is very arbitrary. Uh, I decided that because of my uh, uh, here of my engine. Okay. Um, and uh, from now, so I'm just looking at, uh, I want my uh, eccentricity to be less than 0 0.000. And because that number uh, might not be uh, reached, I have an, uh, another uh, condition here. My eccentricity is uh, decreasing uh, because my uh, orbit is uh, is from uh, is going from an ellipse to a, a circular orbit to a circle so uh, the eccentricity is uh, is lowering from from now but at the moment uh, it will increase again so this is why I am looking at uh, old eccentricity and as soon as my actual eccentricity is greater than the old eccentricity that means that my eccentricity is going up again, and then I want to shut up the uh, shut up the, the the engine. Okay, so this is my uh, my pitch PID update. This is the same that the throttle. It, it is just that the throttle is not updating with the PID now. It's the pitch. Okay, and uh, my steering is locked to adding ninety from north. That means east and the wanted pitch between uh, negative five and five. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, at the end of that, if my uh, ETA hypoapsis is less than zero point one, uh, this, this can happen if my uh, engine has not enough uh, thrust to increase the uh, ETA hypoapsis then I break the cup. This is not a good thing because uh, that means that the, uh, the script can be uh, ended before I, uh, I have an, uh, a circular orbit, right? Uh, but it is a safety uh, precaution. Okay, so uh, now we just have to look at the end of the script. We have to look at the uh, eccentricity here and uh, watch the uh, at the end, what are uh, the periapsis and the apoapsis of my uh, of my orbit? So resume flight. <coughs> so the uh, apoapsis is going uh, down. This is normal. And now you see the pitch is going up to increase the ETA apoapsis. And uh, when it reaches 10 seconds, going down again, All right and. During that time, the eccentricity is going down too. Okay, so the rocket is uh, pitching up, pitching down. And you see here, my eccentricity is, uh, oh, it is a two multiplied by uh, 10 to the power uh, negative five. So it's 0 0.0002. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to count my zeros, but uh, it is. Uh, if we, if I look here, uh, it is not exactly that number, but quite that number. And look at my apoapsis and my uh, periapsis. The apoapsis is eighty kilometers point two seven, and the periapsis is eighty kilometers point zero nine. So this is a quite beautiful circular orbit. It's not perfect because the eccentricity is not zero. The apoapsis is not exactly equal to the periapsis, but I think it's a, a very uh, perfect circular orbit. And all of this using um, uh, a PID loop and uh, without cutting off any engine at any time. Okay, I didn't use any maneuver node. Um, <coughs> this is my uh, my payload just uh, five tons of, of payload here and uh, this is it this is a way to uh, to do a gravity turn using a PID loop I never use that method <laughs> uh, but I tried it for you <laughs> to show you how it worked I hope you enjoy uh, the next episode will be a new utilization of the PID loop and I'm using it with rovers so stay tuned and see you soon bye bye